is day three for Geneva Watch Days and here we are with the Jido. Look at that, how fabulous it is with the little boat going past. It's a big day for us because it's a GMT party. Well, we're in front of the stage now, so we're gonna be filming there later. But before that, let's go and see what the team were doing today. And today we're kicking off with Jan Edox on the lake. We're interviewing him on a boat. Suzanne had two events today, so she was at Quorum, but also at Reservoir for her first date. Brice was at Recense with his fishbowl of questions. Let's go over to the boat now, where we'll find Jan Edox. Sophie. What a way to start the day. Huh? That's amazing. Thank you. Oh. We stay here for nine hours. Yeah, I don't talk me. That we have lunch and all this is beautiful. <laughs> so I'd love that. Yes. So what's cooking at Doctor this week for Geneva Watch Days? So we just started yesterday. So we just presented our novelty. Yeah. The sub 300 beta shark hunter ceramic with eight and carrot gold. Surprising yes. for some of the people, but it was logical and uh, it was very well perceived and uh, with the launch of the, this watch we were really trying to, to, to set a, a, it's not a milestone but to set on, on a higher level uh, again Doxa was known since ever to offer a lot of watch for a related price okay. retail price value and now also here uh, the, the watch with ceramic and eight and carat gold it retails for 6950 so in relation there on that level uh, we offer a lot of watch for retail price and we have seen that uh, in the price range in the pyramid uh, we had the sub 200 t-graph limited edition for uh, 300 pieces which we retailed people forget for 4900 swiss francs and it sold out wow. so it's not about the retail pricing yes. and we were forced somehow to put again an edge on the pyramid uh, in regard of the brand perception uh, and then technically it was also to bring Doxa not only in the afternoon on the beach to try now to go with Doxa and it's interesting to go onwards the evening. Ah, oh, I like that. Yes. So this is the watch you're wearing now? Right? Yeah, exactly. So That's it's in beautiful. ceramic, it's very light. It's 18 karat gold bezel, it's an 18 karat gold crown. It's also a chronometer, uh, the chronometer the movement, yeah, certified. And uh, yeah, as I said, it's retailing for 6,950. It's not limited. Okay. It's open to the public. And it's, uh, it's, it, it's the elegance to combine still a, a watch which is very uh, uh, sporty. It has absolutely the DNA of Doxa. Yes. Uh, we didn't put, you know, it's tone in tone, the, the logo. And, and here we expect it would have been a pity to put, you know, in color, the logo and all this. Technically, we hope that you can recognize it's still a Doxa. But it was really a bit hint. The, the, the main collection is still in the afternoon on the beach. We, we stay in the colors. We had some people, oh, uh, why it's not orange and orange? Yeah. But in the next 10 years, Doxa cannot come every year with orange and orange. Sure. Then people as soon they could expect what we do. And so this was a surprise, but uh, it was uh, really a very pleasant, successful start. Oh, wonderful. I love how you've combined the Doxa design codes with a, a new kind of elegance. You've given it a new kind of elegance. Yes. And back to Suzanne, where she is with Boone from Corum. They are walking around Geneva, I believe. for joining us at Geneva Watch Days and for appearing on our little video segment. What's new from Quorum this year and what are we wearing? That's so exciting. Thank you, Suzanne. What we are showing today is actually a couple of pieces that are really iconic from, mm -hmm. the, from the collections, from the different collections of Quorum, yes. but yet bring our own individual flair mm -hmm. because we believe that watches are also a self-identity yeah. of the different persons wearing it. Oh, absolutely. So, 
the Corum timepiece that we are going to show today also is the Emeralds Collection. Mm -hmm. So, the Emeralds Collection has always been known for sailing the nautical pennants on the uh, on the dial itself. I guess we could but, say it's a it's a real icon of Corum in that sense. You know, everyone recognizes it. Yes, it is. And actually, since 1980, mm -hmm. uh, the collection was created in 1960. But in, in 1980, we decided to add in the elements of the nautical flex into yeah. it. So, that was with color flex. But how do we further further on? in the future because we at Corum we always believe in one thing mm -hmm. what would Mr. Banvat do if he's still alive today yeah that's a, and, that's such a cool question to be asking and, yourself all the time to yeah. kind of reconnect with the roots mm -hmm. of the brand yeah and for us it's also a matter of taking our DNA mm -hmm. and moving towards the future yes and moving towards the future is also towards self-identity Mm -hmm. So, with the first watch that I'm sharing here, it's actually the Emeralds 42mm Splash yes. that, I have, that I have on my wrist today. If you, if you look at me, you know that I'm a fan of colours. So, this Splash is actually also a representative of myself with all the different rainbow colours on the different dial, on the yeah. dial itself, on the different flags. Yes. Yeah. There is a pop of colour on this watch also, although it kind of seems like it's a full black watch, but we'll show you that yeah. in a second yeah. and uh, show how this watch brings out its colours in an unexpected way. Yeah. Again, again for us also, what we try to do also is to no longer be boring per se. Mm. Because everybody is always trying to be conservative, traditional. Yeah, of course, watchmaking has been traditional for the last hundreds of years. Yeah. But how again do we show off the individuality? That's yes. number one. And through that also at Corum, we have always been known to be doing creative things. Mm -hmm. Creativity, distinction, unique. Absolutely. Because everybody is unique. Why would you want to wear a watch that is not representative of yourself? Next up, Suzanne is at Reservoir for a first date. Hi Natalie, thank you so much for joining us on our little first date video segment called First Date. Now, I'm really excited to reveal this watch to you because I think although it's not really your usual style, there are some parts of it that I think you'll really enjoy. It's very colourful which is, uh, I know you enjoy your colour, it's kind of really strong and I know you're a very, very strong lady with a big personality. So this is the Reservoir uh, Air Fight Chronograph and it is a bi-retrograde chronograph and I know that you do appreciate watches with uh, technical elements so mm -hmm. this little display of a flyback double retrograde display is going to be pretty cool for you. So what are your first impressions of this Air Fight Chronograph from Reservoir? Ah, it's a good surprise for me because, you know, I, I know the Reservoir and I followed them since the very beginning. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I am really happy to see how they ha have evolved. Mm -hmm. Ah, that's really cool. Mm -hmm. I love the colours mm -hmm. and uh, I see that they, they have evolved in the complications that they are making, mm -hmm. that they are sticking with the retrograde uh, DNA and it's very interesting, actually. Try it on your wrist. Yes. Oh. It fits well. Yes, no, it's, it's, it's perfect fit, it's honestly. A, it's a big watch, but I like big watches. Mm -hmm. I'm normally not so, not so sporty. I'm a little bit more classical in my taste, but mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a very nice piece. And I like the fact that even if it's a chrono, it's very easy to read. You know, I, I'm, I consult with a lot of brands. I'm always on the go. I do a million things at the same time. And I like to have pieces where I can really see the, the time very fast, yeah. but while also not taking too much of my attention. It's really nice. I love this, uh, this piece. Yeah. Okay. So after your first impressions, here's the final question, and it's an important one. This has been your first date with a Reservoir Air Fight Chrono. Is there going to be a second date? Huh, good question. <laughs> uh, you know, I feel a little bit like um, I'm meeting with an old love again. Um, yeah. So, yeah, why not? They have changed, actually. Maybe, Maybe you, know? you know, things could be different it's, this yes. time. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much. I'm afraid I have to take the watch back, but you know who to call if you want a next date. I do, yes. <laughs> Greece is with his fishbowl at Recense. 
Benoit, thank you for welcoming us uh, on your booth during the Geneva Wise Days. Thank you. For You're the founder of Renaissance. Correct. And I'm going to ask you to pick up three pieces of paper mm -hmm. and answer the three questions. Right. One in each color. Please. Okay. First one. Yeah. If you weren't in the watch industry, what other sectors interest you? Well, it's very easy. Uh, before I, uh, I was in the watch industry, I was in the design industry. So I worked as an industrial consultant, as a consultant in the industrial design. It uh, forged my uh, my vision on, on product design, mm -hmm. and, uh, and that's what I applied today on Ressence. Well, congrats for making it happen. <laughs> Second you. question, please. So now a blue one. Yes. Tell us one unknown fact about your brand that you think more people should know. Ha -ha. My, um, the first uh, Ressence watches that um, I made, so it's called the Zero Series and mm -hmm. Series One. Mm -hmm. The dial on these watches, uh, you know we have the main dial, mm -hmm. then we have the hours, seconds, and on that watch it was AM, PM. It was yes. not yet the weekday. Well, on these first watches, no one has ever noticed that they are not symmetrical. But now you can take a picture and see, indeed, it's not, it's not symmetrical. So here's the question. If you could travel in time, where would you go? Well, you see, we as the song really try to um, think of what would be fine watchmaking tomorrow. What we believe is that um, you, can, you can perfectly take these these assets and say, okay, how does that reflect in the future? How does it today, first of all, I'll from today, um, but how does that reflect in a contemporary environment? So that's I, it. You've got a lot of people on your boots, a lot of clients <laughs> interested in your watches. So I leave you up I you thank you. To, to go back to them. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much. And congrats. So that's it for us today. We're now going to go to the GMT party. I'm very, very excited. Um, and I do have something else to say. We wanted to say a big thank you to Pro Yachting, who lent us this lovely speedboat today. Um, it's available for rent and for sale, if ever you're interested. So, And now, let's party.